Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey together of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter, and I'm sharing that with you. Today, we're looking at Galatians chapter 5. So what does the Bible say about our freedom? It's a big question, especially for Americans. Um, Paul explains in Galatians chapter 5, verse 1, For freedom Christ has set us free. Stand firm, therefore, and do not submit again to a yoke of slavery. Powerful imagery here. From what has Christ set us all free? In one word, sin. And that's what we need to understand. Our freedom is not to do anything we want. Not about having the ability to go anywhere, do anything, financial freedoms, all those things we make it about. The freedom that Christ has won for us is freedom from sin. Sin is rebellion against God and His revealed will for our lives. When you rebel against what God's Word says, you're sinning. Regardless of whether you agree with it or not, that's our word. Even if you struggle with believing it, that's our canon. That's our scripture. That's the community of faith throughout the world, throughout time. The Bible teaches us that we all have gone our own way and done what is right in our own eyes, and that prevents us from being members of God's household. You see, sin separates us from God and from the true freedom we have in Him. Sin breaks relationships. That's the bad news. Now, here's the good news. When we confess our sin and turn away from its control, its grip upon our lives, because you, when you're giving your life over to sin, you're in the yoke of slavery. Okay? So when you turn away from its control, then you get into the easy yoke of Jesus. You're now in a relationship with Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And you can't be in two yokes at once. Salvation is about breaking out of the yoke of slavery and being in the easy yoke of Jesus. That is eternal life. That is freedom from sin. We're now forgiven to live a new way. And that's a life of complete surrender. It's a life of submission to Jesus, to the will of the Father. That is the new way of the Spirit that Paul talks about in Romans chapter 7, verse 6. So in, in a renewed relationship with God, Paul teaches us in Galatians chapter 5, verses 13 to 14, this truth. For you we're called to freedom, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. For the whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Love. Love is the test of your freedom. The test of your freedom is how you walk in the spirit, which is most clearly made visible in how you think about and treat other people. True freedom is the freedom to live and love in healthy relationships, first with God and then with others. Seize the moment, walk in true freedom, love God and love people. Seize the moment.